Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the germ theory of disease and we also know and also discuss about the main experimental approach of germ theory of disease and that is the cost postulate. Okay, so at first we have to know what is germ theory, what is the germ theory of disease. So main theory is a germ or a pathogen or a microorganism can cause a particular disease. So a disease can be caused by a microorganism or by a germ. So this is the main germ theory. So before the germ theory is published, this time the this time people don't people didn't even believe that the disease can be caused by a microorganism. So they don't didn't believe that. So <coughs> when so next the Louis Pasteur first provide this idea of germ theory he said that the human diseased human disease can caused by some microorganisms or by some germs or pathogens so this is first first published by the louis pasteur but he this time he can't he couldn't he couldn't experimentally approach or experimentally prove that Prove the germ theory of disease. So in next, Robert Scotch will came and he experimentally confirmed that the one microorganism, one microorganism, a particular one microorganism is responsible for a particular disease, and that is the germ theory of disease. So here he take the Bacillus anthracis microorganism and he proved that anthrax disease and this bacillus anthracis cause the particular anthrax disease in cattle okay so how he proved that a particular anthrax disease is caused by the bacillus anthracis so at first <coughs> at first he isolate the bacillus anthracis microorganisms from the anthrax disease animal so which which my which animals show the anthrax disease he collect the microorganisms or of that is the bacillus anthracis he collect bacillus anthracis from that diseased animal and he grow in pure culture so after growing them in pure culture then he inject those cells of pure culture into a healthy animal so at first he collect the bacillus anthracis from the diseased animal and then he grow it in pure culture and the cells of pure culture is injected into a healthy animal and he saw that those healthy animal will show the same symptoms of the anthrax disease same symptoms they will show the healthy animals show so then when he re-isolate and get the same microorganism from that healthy animals which show the same disease symptoms and the characteristic of that microorganism is same with the bacillus anthracis so from this he conclude that this particular anthrax disease is caused by the bacillus anthracis microorganism the bacteria okay so this is the germ theory he experimentally confirmed it and <coughs> he validated that he said that specific germ can cause a specific infectious disease that means one specific germ will cause a specific one disease it is responsible for one particular disease so he concluded that and at the same time he established a rule uh, a rule or a postulate that is known as the cost postulate here he gives some criteria and said that if a pathogen or a germ fulfill that criteria then only we can say that this microorganism or this pathogen is responsible for that specific disease so now let's discuss about the four criteria which if a pathogen fulfill this criteria this criteria then only we can say that this pathogen is responsible for that particular disease okay so the first criteria is the suspected pathogen that means <clears throat> the suspected pathogen must be observed in all cases of the disease that means those if a uh, the diseased in diseased animal we must we must get the suspected pathogen that means suppose 
here the diseased animal disease is anthrax disease so in all the animals which show the anthrax disease from them we must get the suspected pathogen that is the bacillus anthracis we must get the bacillus anthracis from all the anthrax diseased animal okay so this is the first criteria and the next criteria is the suspected pathogen must be isolated and grown in pure culture the suspected pathogen must be isolated from this diseased animal and then we have to grow in we must grow must be grow in pure culture that means in suppose the disease is anthrax disease so the anthrax so the animals which show the anthrax disease from them we must have to isolate this bacillus anthracis and then we must grow in pure culture must grow in pure culture okay and then the cells of this pure culture cells of the pure culture of the suspected pathogen must cause disease in healthy animals now suppose we take some healthy animals and inject the cells of pure culture of the diseased animal so if we inject the healthy animals with the pure culture cells of pure culture then this healthy animal must show the same symptoms of the diseased animal that means for example in anthrax <coughs> if we um, if the cells of pure culture that is the bacillus anthracis if we inject the bacillus anthracis in anthracis in healthy animals they must show the same symptoms of diseased animal that is the anthrax diseased animal which show the symptoms they should show, they must show the same symptoms okay so this is the third criteria and the fourth criteria is the suspected pathogen must be isolated from that diseased animal and must be shown the same characteristics that means suppose for anthrax disease the suspected pathogen that is the bacillus anthracis must be re-isolated from the healthy animal must be re-isolated from the healthy animal and that diseased that uh, disease uh, sim disease symptoms showing healthy animals show that means that suspected pathogen show the same characteristics which show in the in this step where the disease means the diseased animal the symptoms of diseased animal the characteristics of the uh, pathogen in diseased animal should should be the same characteristic of the pathogen which we get from the healthy animals so then if this four criteria they fulfill a pathogen if the four pathogen fulfill this four criteria then only we can say that the that pathogen is particularly responsible for that specific disease so this is the whole criteria of cost prostulate and this is the experimental approach of germ theory of disease okay thank you for watching this video